Time, yes, as we just said, an Arizona family attacked by an aggressive bobcat. That cat sending five family members to the hospital. A four year old girl was hurt the worst. And we do have to warn you that some of the images that you're about to see are very disturbing. Jared Ray and his family were camping in Safford last month, about four hours southeast of Phoenix when that attack happened. The sound of his four year old daughter, Danica, is still stuck in his mind. Heather Ray says she did whatever it took to save her daughter, along with her four other family family members who also ended up getting attacked by that bobcat. I just remember thinking this is this can't be happening. This isn't like no, no. It was crazy to go from thinking about setting up s'mores for all the kids or to in a blink of an eye like fighting fighting for your daughter's safety and I couldn't believe that it was it, it kept returning and attacking somebody else and we were finally able to get enough space between us and, and it after it was thrown by Samuel uh, down into a creek. Uh, at that point, we were able to back everybody off and get into the trucks. What an amazing story of survival. One family member was able, as you just heard, to throw that bobcat into a creek and giving them time to take shelter in a truck. The aggressive bobcat is still on the loose. Now the Ray family has a warning for other campers. Make sure that you keep everyone close and always keep an eye on your kids. The Arizona Game and Fish Department is actively searching for that bobcat and says it still needs to be put down. That is so incredibly yeah. frightening and a lot of times you know, when you go camping, because we do a lot of camping right. too, you always think about, oh, bears. Right. Or, you know, possibly snakes or little critters and stuff like that. Honestly, never once have I ever thought about a bobcat attacking. Well, yeah, typically they're not real aggressive. We're seeing them more in, in yeah, the Phoenix Yeah, because area, we the, are encroaching yeah, their yeah, space. Exactly. I mean, and they can be pretty big. I mean, anywhere from 15 to all the way up to 35 pounds. Yeah. And you think about the claws that they have. Well, mm -hmm. thank goodness she survived. Looked like she's going to have a scar, but, right. you know, ultimately going to be okay. But I guess you just got to be really vigilant when you're out there camping. So scary. All right.